Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. We're here for a part two to my Christmas decorate with me for 2020. Excited to be sharing my Nordic boho glam type of theme that I'm going with this year. So for all of the decoration inspiration and motivation, just keep on watching. All right, guys, like I said, we're doing a part two to my Christmas decorate with me this year. And first thing I'm starting with is this cute little key that I actually found on the Facebook marketplace. And it is a like special key that's supposed to open up the door for Santa Claus if you don't have a fireplace. So I thought that was super cute. Got that for the kids this year, um, mostly for Kaya, just because she's going to be the only one that understands it. But I thought that was such a cute little touch to this year's holiday season. And Christmas so adorable I thought it was such a neat idea and a cool concept since we don't have a fireplace so we'll leave that key out for Santa so that he can get in and it is a magic key so anyway um, getting into the decor this year um, and you guys are going to peep a new little family member I was honestly surprised that I didn't get as many comments in our last video um, But yes, we have a new little family member here in the Byland household and his name is Charlie We'll be doing an official like announcement video here in a vlog in a couple days um, Introducing him to you guys, but he makes an appearance in this video quite a bit So I figured it was probably time that I just announce it to you guys um, but like I said we'll be doing an official um, introduction in our vlog next week getting into the decorations that I picked out for the shelf this year I was trying to go for uh, more of a Nordic theme this year I wanted to incorporate some like wood accents and this shelf is actually really hard to decorate without it looking too cluttered um, and I do keep the bottom two shelves pretty simple just because Riker is able to reach those bottom two shelves and I don't want anything breakable down there and I am always putting back um, like signs and things like that that I put on that bottom shelf but um, you'll see me decorating and redecorating quite a few times um, during the video and that's just how I decorate that's the style that I do I just I have to feel it out I have to see it I have to visualize it um, and if I'm not vibing with it then I will rearrange again a lot of my pieces this year are from Hobby Lobby I went to Hobby Lobby and one of my most favorite things to do or like useful things I should say is when I'm in the stores I like to lay out what I'm visualizing at the time so for example I laid out all of these trees to see um, like how they would be rearranged on the top shelf and then I found some like birch wood pieces in like a bag of um, like wood and I just thought everything went together so well um, like I said I was really inspired by the Nordic boho theme this year I think the decoration feel is starting to feel um, like rustic just like a classic Scandinavian feel and I am adding some more boho pieces in my other parts three and four decorate with me videos I have a couple of DIYs for you guys that I'm going to be sharing um, but something that I'm really excited to share with you is a DIY for pompous grass if you guys have been over on my Instagram you know that I have been obsessed with pompous grass but I just think that it's so expensive so I actually figured out how to make some myself thanks to a suggestion from somebody over my Instagram I was so excited to try out this DIY and I'm even more excited to share it with you guys and show you how I did my own version of it So I have all of the DIYs for Christmas this year. Just very simple um, Like I said Scandinavian Nordic um, kind of like a rustic feel just lots of greens and wood accents with lights That is what I'm going for this year um, along with the brown glass bottles and the like gold um, Candlesticks that was like my biggest inspiration um, for this year were those pieces so I'm going to let you guys enjoy the decorating in this part two to my Christmas decorate with me for 2020 if you have any questions again like in the first video please leave it in the comments down below um, if you have a question as to where something is from and I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can
So with this sign, now this is another DIY that will be going up over on the m, m Rustics channel. If you guys are new here, I do have a DIY channel that we started this year and I am starting to upload a little bit more over there, especially with the holiday DIYs coming up. Um, but you can find all of the DIY videos over on our m, m channel. So make sure that you guys are subscribed over there as well so that you don't miss out on any of the DIYs. But this barn quilt will be up over on the m, &M Rustics channel. Um, I was hoping to have that up by Sunday this week for you guys, um, but it will be up by Wednesday at the very latest next week. And then I will have a DIY for that pompous grass over there as well. So all of the good things. Um, and also I really struggled with this sign. I couldn't decide if I wanted to put a garland on it and the garland was way too chunky. So then I just went with some like fairy lights and the fairy lights were not sitting in place. And I need to make a frame for this sign still so that it's not so wobbly, but I did the best that I could with the lights and I feel like it just gives it a good little ambiance especially when we're um, sitting on the couch at night and watching Christmas movies I've been watching Hallmark Christmas movies already to get myself into the mood for like decorating and Kaya like loves the Hallmark Christmas movies she loves love stories which is hilarious because she's only five years old but anyway the Hallmark Christmas movies definitely got me in the mood the lighting around that sign adds the perfect ambiance especially at night with candles going and you've got hot cocoa. It's the best. I absolutely love it. Um, now switching over to this little table that I have upstairs. Um, when I worked in the office, um, when I was an accountant back this spring, I had actually purchased this table to be like my coffee stand. I had like my coffee maker on it in my office. So when I switched over to staying home full-time with the kids and working on YouTube full-time, I brought it home and I put it upstairs in this little spot. Now, I do definitely think I need something a little bit longer, maybe with cabinets. I'm just working with what I've got so far for this year. Um, and I think that it turned out really cute. Like I said, I think it needs a little bit more length and maybe some like cabinets like underneath cupboards with like really cute handles, maybe like window style. Um, I'm kind of leaning more towards like a boho farmhouse feel um, for like the base decorating in my house. Um, and again, here you'll see me decorating and redecorating this several times. I have to feel it out and I definitely wasn't feeling this chunky wreath. It's one of my most favorite wreaths that I have, but I always put it outside on my front porch because I feel like it's the best place for it. So you'll see me take that down in a little bit here. And also wanted to mention, um, like I said in my first Decorate With Me video, this shiplap wall, I have a DIY going live for the vertical and horizontal shiplap and how we did it for so cheap. We're doing our entire main floor for less than $500 and it's so easy, even I can do it. So I did the main vertical wall in the, in the living room, like the media wall, I did that all by myself. So if I can do it, you guys can definitely do it. And on a budget, showing you guys how you can achieve that cute boho farmhouse look without getting too deep into the pockets. It's budget friendly and definitely easy to put together. Um, it just takes a couple of pieces of equipment and tools, um, but once you have those, super easy. So, all right, you guys, I'm going to let you enjoy the rest of the decorating in this video. I hope I've inspired you guys and motivated you guys for a theme for your own house this year. Leave it in the comments below. What is your favorite part of the house so far for the Christmas decorating. And also wanted to mention that at the end of this series, I will also be sharing a Christmas home tour with you guys.
All right, that is going to wrap it up for this part two to the Christmas Decorate With Me series for 2020. I hope you guys are loving the decoration so far. I am loving it. It feels like a ski lodge kind of, so it's kind of maybe a little bit rustic. I don't know. I just, I'm loving the theme so far this year and I hope you guys are as well. All right, you guys, I will see you in a couple days for another really fun video. If you enjoyed this one, please share it over on your socials. Take me over on Instagram with your guys' decorations for this year. I love to see what you guys are doing in your homes and I will see you in a couple days for another really fun video. Okay, bye guys.